Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. I thank you for coming over, showing your girls some support and some love. If you are here for the first time, thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. If you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for your support as well. It's been a minute since I've been on here and I'm happy to be back. I'll be happy to, you know, see your smiling, uh, well, I was gonna say see your smiling faces, but no, see your smiles and your emojis in your comments. So um, it's a wonderful day. You know, we are in the land of the living. Give thanks and praise. You know, um, it's a beautiful day outside. It's a little gloomy, but it's still beautiful. Uh, today, I have a little bit of a surprise for you, or I don't know, it's, it was a surprise for me this week. I did um, a fragrance haul, and these are some fragrances that I've been wanting to test out and to have in my collection for a long time. I don't know if I wanna call it a collection because I just love fragrances and if I don't like them, I don't just keep collecting them. I either give them away or I declutter. Uh, most of the time I just give them away and uh, to somebody that, you know, appreciates that, that scent or that smell. So anyway, I've always wanted to get my nose on some of these fragrances today. So we're gonna call this video, this is like the black box edition, y'all, of fragrances because they're all in black boxes. Um, most of these fragrances are probably fall, winter, you know, autumn fragrances. It's pretty moody and dark and gloomy outside today, so I have on one of them today, and it's great because it's cool. You know, last week we had like sweltering heat in the 90s, and today we're in like the 60s. But you know, hey, California for you, right? So anyway, we're gonna be getting to some of these amazing fragrances. Uh, they're all niche fragrances, and then I have something special for you all at the end that maybe you didn't know about, maybe that you wanna purchase as well. So please continue to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, you'll be the first one to give me your feedback, make a comment, you know, show your girl some love. Give me some recommendations as well. You know, let me know what you like about some of the fragrances that we'll be discussing today. I have on some amazing jewelry. Uh, you guys know I just love jewelry. It doesn't have to be real gold, but um, it just has to be gold, you know, gold, silver, stones, pearls, diamonds, like anything. I love it. So these these rings are from um, Asa Captans, and um, she's here located in LA. No, this video is not sponsored. I just love her jewelry. This actual, actually, this Captan. Um, she's an amazing friend of mine. Um, this Captan is hers as well. You know, um, you know, we just consider ourselves goddesses. Go out there and be amazing and be uh, a beautiful goddess, a beautiful queen. You know, whatever you inspire to be, go and do that. These earrings are stunning. You guys know I absolutely love, love, love earrings. You know, I tell my kids, I said, if I die and you don't bury me with earrings, I'm coming back to get you, okay? So don't forget it, okay? Um, even though I actually told them I wanted to be cremated, but anyway. But, you know, cremate me with earrings, bury me with earrings, you know? Whatever it is, do it with earrings. <laughs> So anyway, y'all, um, enough of the antics. Um, let's get into some of these fragrances. So without further ado, we're gonna get into these amazing um, niche fragrances. I love designer too, but these today that we're gonna be discussing are niche fragrances. So my scent of the day will be none other than the amazing, and if you all are following me on Instagram, then you would know that as well. Um, follow me on Instagram, it's Marcemello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W. We have a lot of fun over there. So anyway, we are going to be getting into the first fragrance, which is Oud for Greatness. I don't know how many of you have this, uh, but Oud for Greatness is supposed to be the most amazing Oud fragrance. Um, it's not a really strong Oudy fragrance. It's really, uh, this. I guess it's, they say this is considered for like people that are starting out. This is not a harsh Oud fragrance. Um, this is a unisex fragrance for men and women. And I absolutely do agree because I have about four other Oud fragrances and um, they're pretty, you can really smell the Oud. This one, um, there's a slight like touch, a slight drop of oud, and it's an amazing scent. So let's go ahead and open the box. It came like this. I'm excited. I'll slow down, y'all, okay? So um, it comes, and this box is stunning, and it's super heavy. So it just comes in a little um, slide-out container like so. And it comes in another little slide-out like so in the, the holy grail. 
You can see it looks like the light is shining, right? Okay, the Holy Grail of Oud. Oud for Greatness by the House of Initia. So I was afraid to buy this for a long time because I was like, oh my gosh, Oud for Greatness, unisex. You know, this is going to be too strong. I don't want to waste my money because it did cost me like a, a kidney. It cost me a kidney. So um, uh, I was, wasn't was quite sure, but I was like, you know what? Fragrance Buy had an amazing deal. You know, this is the fragrance company over in Canada. So I went on ahead and I pulled the trigger for purchasing Oud for Greatness. Um, I have a couple of other Initio fragrances and I'm gonna do an Initio um, video on the fragrances that I have. And I have two other ones and I'll let you know those once we get to the other video. So anyway, this bottle is stunning. This bottle is super heavy. I think this might be one of the prettiest bottles I have. You know, this is considered like the third eye. Some people call it the, I think the evil eye or protective eye. It says uh, the Black Goat Project, Oud for Greatness on here. I call it the protective eye. I don't, there's nothing evil that belongs on me or in my life, okay? Um, but anyway, this is the bottle. It's absolutely a work of art. You know, it comes with a plaque at the top. That says Initio Parfums Privé. And uh, the bottle's just amazing. You know, I think this is 75 ml. Um, an amazing bottle. There's a card in here. This is a little, you know, stunning bottom that you can kind of sit it up in to display it. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is just like a little thank you card or something. Uh, maybe just ingredients. Um, that's pretty much it. And the secrecy for Oud for Greatness. So I have this on today and you know, it smells amazing. Um, it's not too masculine and it's not too feminine. It's boom right there in the middle and it's an amazing scent and I love it. I would definitely wear this on a cooler day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it for you all. The dry down, there, the opening is, is good, it's great, but the dry down is amazing and that's what I love. Because initially when I sprayed it, I was like, um, I'm not getting too much from it. I expected so much more from um, Oud for Greatness, but the dry down is stunning. So let's go ahead and um, I can't see where the sprayer is. I mean, am I blind or what? Oh, here it is. It's it's like black on black, so it's a little difficult to see. And I'm pretty anal about certain things because I like to line the front of the bottle up with the sprayer. Sometimes it's a bit off. But anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and spray this. And you guys know, saffron is like my favorite, favorite fragrance. I mean, my favorite note in a fragrance. And I love saffron, so give me anything with saffron inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Great Automizer. So. In the opening, you know, I'm going to go ahead and read you the main accord. So the main accord is warm, spicy, fresh, spicy. It's oody. Um, it's leathery, woody, tobacco-y, earthy. So it's all the E's, okay? So anyway, um, the notes, you have lavender, you have nutmeg, saffron, agarwood, you have uh, oud, um, you have natural oud wood, you have patchouli, and you have musk. Now, this fragrance, I think I purchased it on Fragrance Buy. I think it was like $225 or $245. Usually, it runs for about $350. So, I thought that was that was the cheapest that I've ever seen it. So, in the opening, you do get the lavender and you do get the nutmeg. It's a little more spicy. You know, now in the dry down, you get more of the saffron. Um, you get the agarwood, but you still get the, the lavender is a little less. Um, it's more mild you know, um, in the dry down, and you still get the nutmeg and the saffron, but I love the spiciness to this. It's very warm and it's very spicy, but it gives, I think the lavender gives it a bit of an airiness and a freshness as well, but it's uh, pretty in your face in the opening, but in the dry down, it's so smooth. This is a very sexy, smooth fragrance, very sophisticated, you know. Um, I could just see wearing all black, black leather, um, just anything with black and gold, or just, you know, fabulous, you know, um, with this fragrance. But this is good, I really smell, I wore this as my scent of the day, you all, so um, that's why I'm sniffing my arm, because I want to give you all the dry down. So in the dry down, 
you get the nutmeg, I get the saffron, you know, of course the patchouli and the musk, but the nutmeg, the saffron, slight of a smoother lavender than in the opening. You know, it's really good. And I'm glad that I have this in my collection, not only because of the bottle, you know, it's not bugging my brain now um, that I have it because I was always wondering what does Oud for greatness, greatness smell like? Everybody is talking about men, women, children, like whoever. You, everyone's talking about Oud for Greatness. So now I know and I appreciate it. Would I buy this again? I would probably buy this again if I run, run out because, you know, it's an amazing Oud fragrance. But like I said, if you don't like Oud, you know, and that's what someone said, you would really like this one. This is a, a baby Oud. This is an an opening oud to the world of oud and uh, either they blended it's so fine finely blended and make sure to, and the it's mixed so well that um you really don't get that sharp um oud and i love it it's amazing y'all so if you don't like oud even though it's oud for greatness get it you know you won't be disappointed i really love it it almost reminds me, I was initially going to buy Mimo um, African Leather, uh, Mimo Paris African Leather, but then when I smelled this one, because it does have a slight, very, very slight leathery tobacco, and I'm not a fan of either one, so um, I this is really good for me. Um, it does give you a hint of that. Um, I feel like I don't even have to buy the Mimo African Leather because Mimo African Leather is a little bit more on the harsh side. You can really smell the leather in that even though it's a, a little sweeter. Um, I think this will do for me um, at the moment, you know? So, no, sorry Mimo African Leather. I won't be buying it because I love Oud for great, Greatness and it gives me the same vibes, okay? So anyway, the next fragrance that we're gonna be discussing, and I did wear this one, you know, I do appreciate more of the dry down of this one than the opening and this is called Athalia and this is by Parfums de Marley. See the box is stunning as well right? Black box, all black everything you know black on black you know black and gold here we are. So um, this the box is stunning y'all it just gives you a little bit of inform information on the back um, and here we go when I opened up all these boxes y'all I was like all oh, this black and gold this is beautiful. So anyway, this is Athalia by Parfums de Marley. So we're going to get into the main accord um, for this one. And in the main accord, it's considered a uh, floral, floral woody. I was going to say floral fruity, but it's floral woody. This was launched in 2016. Um, it's irisy powdery, and I don't really care too much for iris, but this one it's okay, y'all. It's okay. Um, it's white floral, amber, violet. Um, they said there's an animalic note, but I don't get it. It's earthy and sweet. Now, in the notes, you have uh, orange blossom in the top. In the mid, you have iris. And in the base, you have white musk and amber. You only get five notes in this, but it smells like a very complex fragrance. So let's go ahead and spray this. I did wear this the other day. Um, like I said, I... The opening was okay, but I started to appreciate the uh, kind of like the lipsticky smell. Not too lipsticky because I I don't wear makeup, and I think when I do smell lipstick or powdery makeup, I really smell it. So I did like this one though. It, it's tolerable. Um, so let's go ahead and spray this. The bottle's stunning, and this is Athalia. See, I like it. I like it. It's very soft. It's very sophisticated. This is a ladylike, more feminine leaning fragrance. Um, I do smell the orange blossom, but I do smell the iris. The iris is really there. So if you love iris, you would really love this fragrance. But it's like a soft, powdery, very sensual iris. It's, this is good. And I'm not an iris girl. I'm not an oud girl and I'm not an iris girl, but I do love these. So um, this is this is a rich smelling fragrance, you know? This is a lady that wears makeup. I'm gonna wear it, but I don't wear makeup. This is a lady that wears makeup to perfection. You know, her face is beat, you know? Oh, this is good, I do love this. I don't get the white musk, um, but I do get a lot of the orange blossom and I do get the iris. And there's some amber in here as well. So anyway, that's Athalia. 
So I'm happy to have this. This is definitely, this is not a spring summer fragrance. This is definitely a cold weather fragrance, uh, fall fragrance. You might be able to wear this on a cool summer night, but no, I would definitely wear this autumn, winter, fall um, on a cold day because it seems like it would bring out the fragrance. The fragrance will shine. In the heat, I think this would be probably a bit annoying. So, all right, that is it for Athalia. The next fragrance we have, and I love the box. It looks like a pinstripe suit. This is Darcy. So I had to get Darcy because why? It rhymes with Marcy. <laughs> Don't laugh. Um, that was so corny. But yeah, I was like, you know what, Darcy. So it's, it's just like me, it's Marcy. So it has to be amazing, right? It has to be good. So anyway. Um, the bottle, the box is amazing. This is by Parfums de Marley as well. And the bottle, y'all. Every time I open up one of these bottles, it was like, ah, like a ray of light came out from amongst the box. Y'all, this bottle is stunning, right? Beautiful, beautiful bottle. You know, the black tassel, you know, it just, it, it completely completes me, right? So anyway, this is Darcy. So the main accords in Darcy, the top is stunning. You know, you all know the Parfums de Marley um, bottles. So the main accords in Darcy, you have citrus. I keep wanting to say Darcy. Um, like who watches, oh, my one of my favorite shows, and I don't know why, I can't remember the name. It's, uh, his name is Mr. Darcy. Um, it's like an English show. I don't know why I can't remember the name because I've watched multiple series of the show and it was, I loved it, uh, but I'll link it down at the bottom anyway. So um, it's citrusy, sweet, white floral, and it's warm, spicy. Um, this was launched in 2014 and in the notes you have citrus, you have orange blossom, you have lemon, in the mid you have rose, jasmine, in the, in the base you have patchouli, you have sweet notes. In the sweet notes, it stated that they were like gummy. It showed like some gummy bear type um, uh, candies. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, but you have white musk and you have woody notes. So y'all, let's go ahead and spray this. Now, Darcy, um, I think I have to get used to Darcy, but I love the opening. The dry down was a bit different, but I did love the opening. So let's go ahead and spray this. I think this is a... Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna spray a little bit more of Darcy. Now, in the opening, you get citrus, you get orange, you get lemon. And I think the lemon and the patchouli clashes a little bit because you get like a little bit of a dirty patchouli plus you get a, a citrusy lemon. So that's what I think um, that is. So. Um, I get the white musk. So now I'm getting citrusy, patchouli, white musk, you know? This is definitely a very unique fragrance. Fragrance. This is not a blind buy. I do like it because it's so unique, you know? This is a fall, um, winter, autumn fragrance. Definitely not a summer, spring fragrance. But you do get a little bit of the rose, the citrus, the lemon, you know, um, the jasmine, the patchouli, and the white musk. This almost smells like this has a little bit of oud in it, you know, because of the citrus, the patchouli, and the white musk. It's giving me oud vibes, you know? But it doesn't state that there is, there is any oud inside. But I'm getting oud vibes from this. This, out of all the three that I have today that I'm gonna discuss, I love the bottle. Yeah, I am going to wear it, you know, but definitely in cold weather. This is my least favorite. I love Oud for Greatness. I love Athalia. I didn't think I was going to love Athalia that much because I don't really much like Iris. But when I looked up the notes in this one, I love the notes in Darcy more. But I love the fragrance itself overall. Athalia much more. Yeah, Dar Darcy is definitely not a safe blind buy. This is giving me slight oody, white musk, dirty patchouli, citrus vibes, you know? So anyway, that's, um, that's Darcy. 
I thought Darcy was gonna be my girl though, you know, you know, Darcy and Marcy, you know, but you know, I'll wear you Darcy, but sparingly, okay? And this is beast mode. All of these fragrances are pretty much beast mode. Um, I sprayed on Oud for Greatness. I sprayed that one about 10 times and um, Great Projection, Siage, all of that. Um, this one is beast mode. I almost sprayed too much of this, the dark scene. It almost gave me a headache. Athalia's beast mode. So I would say um, the Parfums de Marley fragrances discussed today, you maybe need um, four sprays and you'd be done. One, two, you know, three, four, and then that's it. And then you're good. Let's put this back in its beautiful little uh, stunning case. Gorgeous, y'all. So anyway, um, would I repurchase this one again? No, I will not. Would I repurchase Athalia again? No, I will not, but I do like it. It's not like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love it. I would repurchase Oud for Greatness again, okay? So the next one, I decided to order something a little bit different because I've been wanting to get my nose on the fragrance Portrait of a Lady, um, but I'm not paying that full price for it. You know, it is a bit much. And if I'm gonna buy something, I'm gonna buy the bigger bottle. I'm just like, go big or go home, right? So I don't wanna buy the smaller bottle, the 50 ml, and um, end up paying a pretty penny for that one when I could have gotten another 50 ml for probably like another, you know, $100. So anyway, I decided to get something different. And I love body oils, y'all. I love good lotions, I love good creams, and I love oils. So I was like, you know what? Why not? When I saw it, I was very shocked when I looked up um, to see if I was going to purchase the perfume. I saw a portrait of a lady body and hair oil. And you all, I really, really like this. When I initially put this on, um, I got a scent, a slight scent of the fragrance because I have smelled it before. But when I started to wear it around, a couple hours into it, 30 minutes into it, it warmed up on my skin and I started to smell the fragrance of Portrait of a Lady. So I was like, do I really need to buy Portrait of a Lady? Since I bought, I bought myself two of these body oils. Um, you know, it gives me the same vibes as the perfume, but not as in your face, just a very subtle smell. So in um, this, you know, Portrait of a Lady, it's like an ambery, um, rosy smell. It has patchouli, warm, spicy, creamy, and sandalwood. So that's per the perfume. In the actual uh, hair and body oil, it's apricot, it's argan oil, it's sunflower oil, it's raspberry seed, it's evening primrose oil, it's jojoba oil, um, it's sweet almond oil, and then it says something about um, some other um, earthy oils, I think it was. Um, but whatever that means. So anyway, this stuff, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and um, take these rings off for a moment and I'm gonna just put some on my hand for y'all. So um, this is the bottle. The bottle is just black and it has um, some engraving on the top. Um, but it actually, um, the top is pretty simple. The bottle's plastic, it's like a heavy plastic. And you just kind of like shake it out on your hand. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my hand like so, just drip it, two drops is enough, you know. I'm gonna go ahead and rub it. Oh, I smell it already, y'all. So that's what I was saying. It This is basically the perfume, Portrait of a Lady, you know. This is good. Don't mind my fingers, you know, I work in healthcare, so I keep my nails real short. Y'all, this is good. I'll put a little bit more, just so you can um, see the oil concentration. But I like, it has an amazing sillage, you know? And it's really good. It doesn't smell oily. Like some oils smell like there's, you know, it has that oily smell. But this, you smell portrait of a lady. That's what it smells like. Now you can get this and you can get the fragrance, you know, so that way you don't have a clash when, you know, layering your Portrait of a Lady perfume with um, your lotions or oils. But like, I really feel like I don't need to buy Portrait of a Lady because I smell this, you know, really, really good. And when your skin, when it starts to warm up and heat on your skin, y'all, this really comes out. Because initially, I've worn this several times, the oil, the body oil. 
Um, initially, I put another fragrance on top of this, so I was smelling both. Uh, one day, I just wore this as a fragrance, you know, the oil, and I was like, you know what? I still smell Portrait of a Lady. It's very projecting. It lasts on my skin about eight to 10 hours. I still smelled it when I went to smell my arm. You know, it's very moisturizing. It says you can use this on your hair. I haven't put it on my hair. I don't wanna waste it on my hair. I have other things for that, but I'm definitely going to use it for my skin. Um, at least maybe, you know, once or twice a week when I um, do want to just smell Portrait of a Lady. Um, it says you can use it for flyaways, on your hair for split ends, uh, all of those that want to do that. But this is strictly for my skin, um, especially with the argan oil inside. I absolutely love argan oil. It's expensive. It comes from Morocco. I have some argan oil that I actually purchased in Morocco and I use it sparingly because I don't plan on going back over there. It's like the original argan oil that the women were crushing, you know, the, the, the nuts of the oil, you know, and I would just see them make it. And it's an amazing process. So I appreciate uh, real argan oil. So yeah, I'll be using this, you know, not on my hair, but on my skin. And um, if you are interested, I bought this on Fragrance by, no, I'm sorry. I bought this on Fragrance X. And I think it was about 140 or 170. I can't quite remember, um, for a 200 ml bottle of Portrait of a Lady body and hair oil. But this is some amazing stuff, y'all. So that is it for today, everyone. Um, I'm gonna go outside and take a stunning picture for you all to post on Instagram, all of my black box fragrances and my oil, and hopefully we can get a good one. I appreciate you all for coming. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you have any of these, if you like them, if you dislike them, what you think, um, if you are going to be purchasing some in the future. Um, let me know if you have Portrait of a Lady, the hair and body oil as well. I would like to get some additional feedback on that um, but I appreciate you all for watching my video I will be doing a couple other videos you know so be sure to come back over to my page and check those out have an amazing day go out and spread an amazing siash amongst the world be good smell good and spread love all right everybody be blessed bye bye